That's a good fish. That is a big fish. It's a big, big, big fish. Hey folks, Dieter Melhorn here, getting out to the lake early. Sun's not even up yet. Doing a little catfish bait challenge today. We're gonna try some primo cut bait against chicken. All right, guys, got her dropped in the water. Uh, sun's not even up yet. It's uh, water temperature's about 64, nice and clear. We've had uh, several days without any big, heavy, significant rainfall, so I don't know where I'm going yet. Uh, just gonna do some experimenting here, see what's going on, see what's going on with the wind. Probably do some drifting, just try to cover some water and find fish. That seems to be the best way to catch these fish here in the springtime, it's just covering water dragon baits drifting it's uh producing them produced them on watery this past week and i think it'll do the same here so get it here and let's see what we can find all right guys let's get my gear together here put some baits in the water i'm gonna be anchoring up typically what i do i stick with my sand tea rigs when i'm anchored i just take my drifting weights off these things are great for drifting. These are made by Bone Town. They're drifting sinkers. But I don't think they cast as good. So I put some of these pencil weights from Dale's Tackle on there. You can use the pencil weights drifting too, but I use those to anchor up. The game today is going to be uh, checking out how chicken performs against some really good cut bait. So, uh, I'm going to get these baits in the water. We're going to anchor up, try to see what's in here, see what we can put in the, put in the boat. Uh, we've got some current flowing up here. Water looks about normal. It's not muddy. Uh, it's a typical stain color that it is up here. Let's see what we can catch. Let's get some bait into the cooler. We've got some fish baits there. We've got some chicken. And we got some super secret cut bait. All right, let's get us some chicken out here. We're going to split it up even across the boat here. Three on each side. Put out some extra pieces there. We'll put that up. And we're going to pull out some chunklets of cut bait here. One, two, three. We'll drop all this back in the cooler so it stays nice and chilled. Now, no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting these out here. Just going to scatter them around. I'm going to try to mark them. I've got some uh, bait buddies on the boat. Basically some little markers I can put out. That one in case a bait gets pulled off. I know what's what. Boom. So I'm bottom. A little deep hole here I'm fishing. We'll, do, we'll put these two side by side. Hey, let's, I'll tell you what, let's mix them up here. Let's mix them up. Let's put this on this side. Put two in the center. Boom. All right, guys, we got a rod going. This one. His own cut bait. I was just getting ready to make a move too. Just getting ready to pull out of here. Hadn't had a single bite. Had a few boats come by. Shot some drone footage. It's like, man, this hole ain't working. I'm a hole hop. I got a fish. Pulling like a blue. see bring it around the anchor rope to this side it's a feisty blue feisty sucker He does not exactly want to come in the boat right now. Oh my goodness. 
Is this what I think it is? It's a channel cat. Wow, guys. AC. Ah. Big mouth channel cat, too. Well, that's one way to get released. That's a nice channel cat. We don't get them that big anymore in the lake. Nice one. All right. I may give it a few more minutes. Again, I'm going to come on a piece of cut bait. I'm going to chunk it back out there. We'll give it a few more minutes now. All right, guys, there's fish number one in the boat, and it came on cut bait. Uh, the bite's not been on fire, so uh, not taking away a lot from that. Uh, I'm hoping to catch a few more fish, hoping for a half-decent catch rate. Uh, I'm just trying some of these lunker spots to see if there's any big fish biting. I'm going to hole hop around up here. I'm going to hit probably three or four different places. Uh, in several of these places, there's a good chance of getting into channel cats, blues, flatheads. There's a good mix up here. And then we'll probably go out and do some drifting, uh, some open water stuff, just to see how everything performs out there. But uh, right now, it's one nothing cut bait. Got one second line. Boy, that sucker is running. We were in striper country. I swear I had a striper. Guess what, guys? This one is on the chicken. This is a chicken fish. This is a decent fish. It's a good blue. Straight up and down underneath the boat. This one is on chicken. Nice fish. <laughs> Good chicken. Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. Well, he engulfed that. Ah, oh, missed him. There we go. Okay, you're just in the bottom of the mouth. That could be worse. That could be worse. Male blue cat. Good fish. We're tied up. Get those back in. That one was on chicken. Believe it or not. I downsized the chicken pieces a little bit after they got out there and they fluttered up and they were pretty big. So I got them more comparable to the other baits. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, that's a good pulling fish. Look at that guy. has been here about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Hooked up. And guess what? It's on chicken. I'm not kidding, and it's a good fish. And it is on chicken. He came to the top of the water. I got a smattering of them out. A little mix. Matter of fact, I think I about got them split. There may be two chickens together and two cut baits together. That's a good fish, dude. That's a big angry male right there. Boga grip's always on the wrong side. Oh yeah, good, good fish, good fish. Big old male. Oh yeah. Big angry male. On the chicken. Anyway. About 13 pounds. Starting to get some color to him. I guess. Fish. A lot of color fish on the chicken let's get him back it's three fish two of them will come on chicken oh i think we got one swimming off yep 
hooked up on Pinky. This one is on cut bait. This is a cut bait fish. Just tightening up my anchors. I saw this one rolling off. Boom, he's got at least one other line. Better fish. I actually see one of my rigs hung up on the uh, hung up on the line there. Get him up here, clouded up real thick here. Uh, I don't know if this rain's going to get here quicker than I thought or not. I'm only sitting in about three feet of water right now. There he is. Gosh, he's like the same fish. Oh, that would be bigger. Oh, that's a much bigger fish. That's a much bigger fish. Better get it by the leader, big boy. Oh yeah. There we go. That out of your face. Okay. Let's find him out of there. Boom. About 28 pounds. That's a good one. Dark, dark fish. Dark fish. There he is, guys. Good looking blue. Dark color. All right. Get him back in the water. It's a great fish. Love that dark coloration on them. I think we might have a chicken bait going. Unless he dropped it or he's swimming right at the boat. He is swimming right at the boat. Coming right up through here. Kaboom. Small fish, I think. Yeah, small channel. Flip him in the boat. Bam. Chicken takes the lead. Chicken takes the lead. Just getting ready to move. Been here about 45 minutes. Got two fish. Uh, Old channel. Might give it another 10 minutes now. Put my 10 minute rule into effect. Channel takes the lead. That's five fish. Three of them come on the chicken. I got, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, right there. Boom. Oh, that's a good fish, I think. I just got a lot of leverage on that rod. Guess what, guys? Chicken. Uh, chicken. Chicken. This is crazy. Uh, I can't believe this is chicken. This is the same rod we caught one on a minute ago. Got rods around it. I'm gonna swap rods just for effect. I'm going to recast one of these rods over there and see if there's something with that area. The only thing is, I've got rods right through there that are in the same area. It's a big old dark male too. Not as big though. Not as big. It's a good fish though. It's another one. It's in the teens. Oh. Good fish. Good fish. Can't believe this. Two. 
good fish here. Another nice one. Yes. <laughs> Amazing fish. Get him back alive. Guys, I think we've got a fish going along for a ride here. Boom. He is there. I think it's a very small fish, so I'm going to nurse it in. This one? It's on the cut bait. So, let's see if I can get it in here. See if the cut bait can make a comeback. I'm making a long drift down through here, a very long pull across a big flat. And this feels like a channel cat. I am trying to nurse it in, fishing it like a walleye. There it is, a little channel cat. Him over here, lift him in. Boom, hooked better than I thought. He wasn't going anywhere. But yeah, I'm uh, making a long pull through here. Channel cat, it's on the cut bait. I'm gonna drift this all the way through the trees. Probably take me an hour to get across here. And uh, this should give me a good sampling. Uh, not a good catch rate right now. The uh, bike seems to be down for whatever reason. And uh, we're gonna keep dragging them. Boom, look at that sucker go. Slime cat rod. And this one's on chicken. Chicken. Chicken, I cannot believe a chicken is gonna move into the lead. Chicken is gonna move. Stay in the lead, actually. Chicken's up, uh, I think, four to three right now. Making a nice long pull across here. The bite is not on fire today. It's not horrible. Uh, this will be fish number eight. So it's not bad, bad, but not exactly good. I've fished on water read the last couple of days and it's been a six fish an hour catch rate. So that kind of shows you I've been out here for six hours and I've only caught eight fish. So, but not all lakes are equal at the same time. Stuff changes, it transitions, and that's just fishing. That is just fishing. It's a big fish. We're gonna need a boga. We're gonna need a boga. We are gonna need a boga. That's a good fish. That is an excellent specimen. That hook rotating around. Perfect placement on that circle hook to the corner of the mouth. Roll them out, guys. Roll them out. You believe this? This is a high teens. On a piece of chicken. There it is, guys. High teens on a piece of chicken. What a good looking fish. <laughs> Eight fish. Get him released. Well, folks, this last fish was a true giant. Uh, it's a pretty long clip, but I'm going to let it play out in its entirety so you can see the entire battle with the fish from the start to the finish. All right, guys, we got one second line here. This one slammed it. It's one of those you hear the line coming off. Uh, this is on cut bait. So, maybe getting in some fish here. Oh, 
we'll see. Making a big long drag across the flat here. These fish seem to be scattered. That's what I could kind of tell this morning when I was, uh... oh, that's a good bend right there, boys. That's a, that's a good fish. That is a big fish. That is a big fish. What's that drag like? That is a big, big, big fish. That's a big fish. I do not know how big that fish is. But it is a very large fish. This fish is kind of going where it wants to go. I'm going to back the drag off on this a little bit. Folks, this is a uh, medium action rod, this big cat fever rod. And I don't see it candy cane over like this that much. So, I'll play with this drag a little bit here. This is a big fish. Let's see if I can see him on sonar. It's a big fish. Trying to nurse this baby in. Y'all can see that rod, what it's doing to it. not seen this fish yet. Taking my time. Got some loose drag on it. I got this drag probably at about eight pounds. Boat's moving, but I've got big drift suck out. Going kind of, oh, he's flipping that tail around. Feels like he's wrapped. But I'm in open water. Most of my brush and stuff is over that way that I would be concerned with. I'm in 20 feet of water. He's coming up a little bit. There he is. It's a big fish. It's a 40 pound fish. missed him on the net that fish the fight is more than the fish it's a big fish he looks like he's about 40 pounds Still not quite high enough. Don't. 
doesn't quite have the power to dive like he did. Big tail whoosh. Mmm. Be bigger than I thought. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I think he's bigger than I thought he was. It's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Get over here and get a good position to get him in the boat. Bigger than I thought. This fish is big. Very big. Good fish. Look at that slob. It's a beast of a fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.